Check it out. We're going to start tonight's show with how Jim Herman finished his day. Go ahead and hole it, Jim Herman. From Eagle Holeouts to another 59 watch, we had ourselves quite the exciting day. Kevin Kisner almost made it two 59s in one week on Saturday at the Sony Open. Don't worry, Kevin. At least you can go home to this. You are in Hawaii after all. I doubt he was thinking about that though when he stood over this birdie putt from off the green on his 17th hole of the day. All he needed was an eagle on nine to join the under 60 club and gave himself a chance with this stellar approach to nine feet. What a shot. Warning, this is hard to watch. Unfortunately, the putt didn't drop for Kiz. But what about the Mr. 59? It took a little bit for Justin Thomas to get this guy fired up. Nine holes, that is, until his first birdie of the day. I mean, come on, guys. It's tiring to make history day in and day out. I'm worn out just thinking about it. What better way to get some much-deserved R&R than the beach, right? JT had a gorgeous sand save on 10. He was pretty much just smooth sailing after that. The guys sure had the rock rolling Saturday. Tony Fino got the streak started with this 31-footer on seven. That is a really good two for Fino. Justin Rose put away near 30-footers on back-to-back -back holes. And yeah, that aggressive tee shot pays off there. Jamie Lovemark was making moves too on moving day. Oh, which he does. <laughs> the great equalizer, the putter. It's pretty amazing Jordan Spieth even got on the green from this spot. In honor of the NFL playoffs, Spieth put one through the uprights on 14. Was that a conversion? It was right through the post. Yeah. Goal! How about this for a goal? Leading by seven strokes, Justin Thomas looks to become the first player to sweep in Hawaii since Ernie Els in 2003 in Sunday's final round at the Sony Open. Not only that, the back-to-back -back wins would put him in the company of Rory McIlroy and Tiger Woods to achieve the feat by age 23. Plenty to watch for on Sunday and plenty to cover in Monday's Trending On Tour. I'll see you then.